Hello everyone, my name is John Melisunda and today I'm going to teach you how to paint this wonderful landscape painting. So today I'm going to be painting a house with a waterfall and I will do my best to make it as realistic as possible. Okay, and please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed and hit the bell button if you want to receive some future notifications of my new videos and tutorials. Okay, you can see all the materials needed on the screen. You can see there are five limited colors, the brushes that we're going to need and all the things that we're going to need to paint this painting. Okay, so I'm going to start now and I'm going to do uh, a little underpainting first. Okay, so I'll try to, I'm going to make this like a cabin everyone. It's a wood, it's a wooden house. So yeah, I'm going to make it uh, brown and I'm going to make the light coming from the left side. It was right through here. Okay, so let's start and let's paint. I will use this big brush first, this 1.5 inch flat brush. I have here the raw umber. There, so I am using a uh, light color one so that I can still see the sketch. try to add a bit of colors here I don't want to see those lights everyone in the background so I cover it first with the uh, Umber. So I'm just using the plain raw umber. Okay, there you go. And now I'm going to start adding uh, some background uh, forest here. So I will be using now a smaller brush, the number two, uh, no, number eight, not a flat brush. It's a medium size flat brush, everyone. We have here the blue and the white. So I'm gonna put a bit of sky here, but maybe it should be lighter. There. 
and then next to that I'm gonna mix four greens greens here everyone so I'm gonna use much more like a uh, bluish yeah so I'm gonna mix for some purple and then a bit of white more red and a white This will be a forest in the background everyone. I'm gonna make a make it a bit lighter with a bit of raw umber. There, I think this is a good color. now a bit of bigger brush this one so I have here the blue and the red with some raw umber and then white there okay more sorry So it's now solid everyone. It should be solid this part actually. Because this part will be forest, okay? Okay, and then this one I'm gonna make it uh, greenish. So I'm gonna use just the, the yellow, the blue, and the red. Just 
go just like that. now something in the background okay and then I have here I will make this part dark everyone so maybe I will just be using a smaller brush I'll just let it right there We are still in the process of underpainting. So I have here the blue and then red to make some darks. A dark purple. I'm gonna put a bit of umber there. not using any black everyone so yeah So to add some dives here. Okay, so yeah, I think that that will be enough for the underpainting. Okay, everyone, so I'm going to make now some uh, forest in the background here. So I'm gonna add some some things there, some trees. Yeah, and I'm gonna use some raw um, uh, bristle flat brush. This one. So I'm gonna mix for blue green, everyone. Yellow and more blue and then white. So it's just circular strokes everyone to create those uh, three leaves
So we'll just stop in technique everyone. Make it rounded to make it look like uh, trees. And then I'm gonna put some white, everyone. A little bit lighter color with some more blue. There, so yeah, you can see now uh, the background looks like a uh, forest. Yeah, it's a forest, everyone. I'm gonna try to, and yeah, maybe later I will just add some trees there, random trees in the back. Yeah, maybe to make it look better. Okay, and then I will try to add some greenish also here. So I'm gonna add some yellow. In white with a red. This can be some grasses on the back. Yeah, I'll just improve it later on, everyone. Yeah, I'll just improve that uh, later on. I will make it look good and better. Okay. I will add maybe some some trees here so that uh, it will cover some parts. Okay. Maybe one tree here. But I will focus now on this house. I will put the tree later on. So I will be using a medium sized flat brush. Here. I will use now the dark color, blue and the red, or the dark purple.
Oke. Okay. Then here everyone, uh, I will divide this part here. There. Maybe I'll be using the umber. You can use the liner brush even if you want. I will add some lines here. And then also here, everyone. Also here, uh, maybe we will put a small window on this part. But later on, we can put the window also there okay from there I'm gonna try to add highlights so I'll be using yellow and the red and then white more yellow Okay. I'll make it a little bit uh, darker. A bit of raw umber. Okay, this is an old uh, house, everyone. So 
so just add this light here like that there slowly one by one So our light source will be coming from the left side. so I'm gonna try not to add darks so you uh, adding darks everyone I'm gonna use this raw umber and a little bit of blue and white there I think this is the right color so it's a casted shadow so we can see now lights and then we have to darken this part also This is an old copy, everyone. support lights on that part see it looks good I'll be using this again and I will add copper It's a cover in the house everyone. Well, so add a little bit of details. Oh, 
Okay, there you go. Yeah. Yeah, for me it looks now old everyone. I will now add uh, more details like like whites. So yeah. Or a bit of highlights. So I'm going to just add more ye yellow and the white. So I'm going to put it here. there so you can see a bit of uh, light on the edge okay yeah so far so good yeah i like it everyone i think the house looks so good it looks uh simple but it looks good i look like a barn i think look like an old barn yeah maybe i'll put like uh, something here but uh, I'm, gonna wait. I'm gonna do it later I'll just decide later if I'm gonna put it there or something I'll just try to add some tinier details look like a crooked house There, okay. And also on the top. There. Okay, so it looks good. Yeah. And then, yeah, I'm going to try to add a bit of trees on the background everyone, so, because the background looks simple, okay? So, that's why I didn't, I will put it later here. So, yeah, maybe I'll just use this uh, brush. So, I have here. The blue and the yellow with some red. Yeah, maybe I will put first the tree trunk. Just the raw umber. Mm 
में के ताकर And also here. Okay, and then on the green part, let's put some greens here. Just like that. Okay, here you go. And then I have here the blue and the yellow. This one uh, will be a bit darker. Just a bristle pot brush one. Okay. Now this time we can use this one, the bristle pot brush. I'll use it here first because I'm gonna use a bit of orange, yellow and the orange. So just tap in technique. More yellow. I'm gonna put it on the left side because the, our light source is coming from the left side. Okay. Okay, and the other one, there, okay, yeah, I will add more three trunks on that first tree
Okay, everyone. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Okay. So I'm going to proceed. I'm going to put a big tree, everyone, on the left side. Yeah, that, just, that big tree, it will cover some more parts there. Yeah, I want to uh, I want to just let the background dark. Because, yeah, that's what I really would like. But I'm going to try to retouch this one first. Yeah, I'll try to put some grayish raw umber, a bit of blue, and the red, and then white. And because this part should be something like dark, everyone. Using this light color, okay. And then we use some um, blue and the red. Okay, so yeah, I can see now uh, details. Yeah, I forgot to put everyone uh, the, the chimney. So yeah, maybe I'll just use this gray color here. Okay, then a little bit of light. There, okay. That's good. Yeah, so we have a chimney there. 
Okay. So I am going to Yeah, I'm going to maybe I will try now to make the rocks there a bit realistic. I'm going to put now some rocks there before I'm going to put the waterfall. So I'm going to add another rock here. So I have here the room. some some reddish color I'm gonna put uh, much more yellowish. There, I'm gonna put now the lights, everyone. So I will mix from yellow and the red and then white. I think we're gonna make this. I'm gonna use now a smaller brush. I'm gonna add some darks also. Uh, we can use this uh, dark purple. So I'm going to make that realistic. I'm going to add a little bit of darks. So you can also add some, some cracks like that. There. 
looks good I think that looks realistic everyone okay so I'm gonna also put some on the other side uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna mix for an orange a bit of rumber. support a little bit there okay so I'll be using this again I'm gonna try to add some crusted shadow maybe So yeah, here, I'm going to try to add some custom set. There. So, yellow and the red. More red. And we can also put some more white there. To make everything lighter. Okay, there you go. So, yeah, that looks uh, realistic. Uh, rocks, I like that. It looks good for me, everyone. Yeah, it's so good. So good, everyone. I like it. On the top, I'm gonna try to add some more plants there. Yeah, some plants with a lighter color. And also, I, I like to add um, some fence there also. Yeah. Okay, that looks good. Okay, here, I will try to add some fence, everyone. I will add use first the umber. 
so it will be here And then you can put uh, the highlights, yellow, and then red, and then white. Just put it on the top, everyone, like that. There. Can I just have it? Highlight there. Each of the railings or yeah. And here will be not so light. Because some parts will be covered by the with the casted shadow there so as you can see now it's like a railings or some uh, what do you call this um, some uh, bridge a bit lighter here there okay that's good yeah it looks much complete now we can now see that uh, why we have like that things there okay and now I will try to add the tree on the left side so yeah that's the that tree will complete the entire painting everyone uh, maybe I'm gonna put the I'm, I'm gonna make the tree a little bit um, orange something like that so that uh, the color will be balanced okay 
But first, I'm gonna try to add some highlights here. Actually, here, I'm gonna add some highlights. Some yellowish grasses also. Okay, stop in technique everyone. There. And I'll, I'll try to add the tree there. So I have here the rumber. Yeah, this can be like an acacia tree, everyone. Okay. Yeah, and then I will try to add now some leaves, everyone. But I want it to be much more orange, yeah, to be to make it a bit different. So I have the red and the yellow. I like this color. Just a picnic.
so a bit of yellowish highlights And then we can use now yellow highlights. Okay, and then you can now put um, the highlights of the trunk, so red and then yellow. I'm going to put a little bit of white. Okay, and I'll mix a bit of uh, reddish purple. Umber, blue, and the red. Okay. I'll try to add some darks here. Remember and the uh, dark color blue.
Yeah, there. And then I will put now some waterfall. So I'm gonna use this medium size flat brush. I know it's small size flat brush, I'm sorry. Here, blue, white, and the red. So here. We just spread that uh, downward like that. In here, you can put some water foams. Yeah, I think I'm almost done, everyone. And then I'm gonna try to add some white. Okay, it's good. Yeah, yeah, the waterfall looks good. And now let's uh, add some some rocks also, everyone, on the bottom part. Yeah, we can put a lot of rocks there to make it look better. And also, we can add some some plants there. We can add a bit more plants. Okay. So yeah, we can add some more rocks because I think um, something lacking there. We have here the umber and then some white. So here. So put here some few rocks. And then you can mix a bit of raw umber, yellow and the red.
and then you can put a bit more raw umber uh, to make every color much uh, looking solid there okay and then we can add dark blue and the red Then here also. Okay. And then we can add now a bit more highlights. I would like to do the highlights, everyone. yellow and the red And then you can put some white. Can add a bit of uh, white. There, and then I'm going to add greenish, everyone. So blue and the yellow. bit of uh, reddish more yellow some moss everyone found in the rocks there Bit of yellowish everyone, or oh, greenish. Sorry. And 
and then I'm gonna try to add some dark greens There you go. Yeah. It is way complete now. And now I will try to add now some some water on the river. Yeah. Yeah, the painting looks so good everyone. I like it. I love it. Okay, so yeah, here. I'll be using this again, uh, this flat brush, medium size flat brush. So I have here the blue. Yeah, I'm gonna try to paint some blue green water. And then let's add some highlights on the water. So just just drag it down and go like that. Okay. Sorry, bro. So I'm going to add some highlight, some reflection here. <clears throat> okay, so. Okay, so I'm going to add some reflection here. It's a light reflection, everyone. It's a reflection coming from the waterfall.
Okay. Yeah. I think I will add more uh, flexion. Uh, just just uh, drag it down like that, Iran. Okay, there you go. Okay, so yeah, that is looks good now. That is uh, uh, looking solid. I like it, everyone. So I am going to add a bit of uh, greenish plants now. This is the last part that I'm gonna do. So I have here the yellow, red, and the blue. There, so a little bit of uh, greenish everyone. There, and then we can add more yellow and then add a bit of red. Okay, so that's it everyone. I am done and I love everything, uh, the result here. I like the highlights, the colors and everything here. So I hope that you are happy and you can paint uh, on your own. Okay everyone, so I want to say thank you for watching this video today and I hope you get something out of this. And my only advice is to keep on practicing, keep on painting. The more you do it, the more you know how to use your brush, the more you will know how to mix the colors. That's why I'm using limited colors of palette because I want you to learn how to, learn how to mix and get the desired colors you want. So please hit like, add some comments, subscribe for more videos in the future. Okay, once again, thank you. Have a nice day and God bless you all. All the glory and honor and praises always belongs to the Lord.